Reaction to the attempted assassination of former President Donald Trump is continuing to pour in from political leaders around the country and around the globe. But the incident has also left many average Americans with much of the same reaction, shock and dismay. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Patricia Del Rio spoke with some Connecticut residents on how they're feeling about the incident. Here at the state's capital, you can see security is ever present following the assassination attempt of former President Donald Trump. Neither Trump nor President Biden are due in Connecticut anytime soon, but there is an increasing awareness of the political division in this country that is perhaps stronger than ever. I really see something that said, take a look at what happened. The shots heard round the world now creating a sense of sadness among average Americans regardless of their political okay. affiliation. Well, I thought it was terrible. I mean, it, imagine somebody trying to shoot the ex-president or it, it's awful. I'm not a Trump fan, but I feel sorry for him. I, I'm glad that uh, he's all right. In Connecticut, largely a blue state, many people not necessarily Trump supporters here, but still being able to separate political disagreement from extremism. It was almost inevitable something would happen. The precise motives of the shooter are not yet known, but now people seem to universally reflect on the shooting and how human decency towards one another must be part of the election process. I'm glad he was not killed. Um, I don't necessarily agree with his politics, but I'm glad he's still alive. I hope the campaign is fair from this point forward. I hope people think a lot about gun safety and uh, offer more than just thoughts and prayers. He's a human being. Yes, he has a mouth, but he is a human being. So treat him like one. It's a bad thing that happened to Trump. It's sad that this is what America has come to. Beyond the shock and anger over the attempted assassination of former President Trump, once the dust settles, the pundits will likely be looking at whether this incident will help or hurt Mr. Trump at the ballot box. That remains to be seen, but one thing is certain is that political violence is as old as democracy itself. I'm Patricia Del Rio, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.